Volunteers in Beirut are collecting broken glass from the massive August explosion and turning it into traditional water jugs. They hope this recycling initiative can clean up the streets and help Lebanese citizens during a crippling economic crisis. نحن كان كل الهدف من هالخبرية نحن نشغل العالم اللبناني من كان كان من بيك أب بيت كان من هول المعامل اللي كمان وقف شغلهم من من وراء الغلا يعني. Glass and debris piled up in the streets after a powerful explosion ripped through Beirut on August 4th. It blew through doors and windows and wiped out entire neighborhoods. Some estimate nearly 7,000 tons of glass were shattered, enough to fill about 5,000 bathtubs. In the following weeks, Ziad Abishakir got to work. So we set up a, a WhatsApp hotline. People were sending pin locations. We have volunteers that would go there. We got funding for the pickups. So the pickups do the rounds in the inner city. They carefully collect glass from homes and buildings, load it onto trucks, and deliver it to the Hamoud family's glass factory in the northern city of Tripoli. We have about 15 tons of glass, now about 17 tons of glass. من بيروت هسا الجمعيات عم يشتغلوا لحتى يبعثوا لنا اكثر عم يقولوا لنا هسا في حوالي 150 160 طن زاز مكسوري Workers melt the broken bits in a red hot furnace and produce jars in a mold Others create the more traditional Lebanese pitchers through a delicate process of blowing But much of the glass from the explosion is dirty and cannot be used at this factory so it will likely be crushed and mixed into cement Anthony Abdul Karim has been coordinating this project. He says recycling is still not the norm in Lebanon. We have piles and mountains of waste that are piling up in Beirut that is mixed with everything. And glass and rubble and metals are mixed with organic waste, and this is not healthy. And Karim was afraid that all the glass from the explosion would also end up in landfills. Officials estimate the blast caused by ammonium nitrate cost $15 billion in property damage, as much as the GDP of Jamaica. And it pushed Lebanon further into a financial crisis, with poverty levels soaring and one in three citizens unemployed. That's why this recycling project aims to help not just the environment, but also Lebanese citizens in the wake of a tragedy. It's taking a, a really bad situation and, and trying to see good out of it, you know? We're supplying our local industries with free raw material. We even created a couple of jobs for people to inspect the glass before they use it. So uh, why not? <laughs>